Hey there, welcome back to our channel, The Road Less Traveled. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history and significance of the broken yellow center line on American roads. If you're interested in learning about the origins of this iconic road marking, buckle up and join us on this journey. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Let's hit the road! The story of the broken yellow centerline starts in the early 1900s when roads were beginning to see more traffic due to the increasing popularity of automobiles. As traffic increased, so did the need for a system to manage it. One man, Edward N. Hines, saw the potential for using painted lines on the road to improve traffic flow and safety. In 1911, he introduced the first painted centerline in Wayne County, Michigan. This early centerline was actually white, not yellow, but it laid the groundwork for the road markings we know today. As road systems expanded and traffic increased throughout the United States, so did the need for a more comprehensive and standardized system of road markings. In 1956, the federal government introduced the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices MUTCD, which established the first national standards for road markings. Yellow center lines, rather than white, were chosen to indicate two-way traffic, with broken lines signaling that passing is allowed. You might be wondering why the color yellow was chosen for the center line. Yellow was picked for its high visibility, especially in low-light conditions like dusk or dawn, and it stands out against the dark pavement, making it easily distinguishable for drivers. But why broken? The broken pattern is designed to signal drivers that it's safe to pass another vehicle when the coast is clear. This flexible system allows for safe and efficient traffic flow, reducing the risk of accidents. The broken yellow centerline has become so ingrained in American driving culture that it influences driver behavior, even when we're not consciously aware of it. Studies have shown that drivers automatically adjust their speed and lane position in response to the presence or absence of centerlines. The broken yellow line not only communicates that it's safe to pass, but it also serves as a subconscious cue for drivers to maintain a safe distance from oncoming traffic. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick look at how the broken yellow centerline is used in other parts of the world. While the concept of centerlines is common globally, different countries use different colors and patterns to convey various traffic regulations. For example, in many European countries, a solid white centerline is used instead of yellow. However, the broken yellow centerline has become a widely adopted standard in many countries due to its effectiveness in communicating safe passing zones and maintaining traffic flow. The broken yellow centerline has a fascinating history and plays a crucial role in maintaining safe and efficient traffic flow in the United States and beyond. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Comment below if you have any questions or if there's another road-related topic you'd like us to explore. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the road less traveled.